So what we've got in front of us today is the Flavoured Milk Bottle Factory. This is by Fracassess Modding, 4.68 megabyte on the download. And the question we're going to be looking at today is, is it worth selling off your stuff before you put it in here? Or do you make more of a profit by running it through this production chain? So what you get out is soy milk, oat milk, chocolate milk and strawberry milk. Now I do like strawberry milk. Strawberry milkshake's got to be the best for me. I like to show milk. Anyway, we'll carry on. So you're going to find this in the construction menu and on the productions and factories. So we'll scroll along to find it. There you are, 70 grand to place down. And then obviously you're going to need a sell point to obviously sell off the flavoured milk once you've made it. So you've got that there, 15 grand, which is in the shape of an old fast food diner. Fair enough. So you've got your pallet spawn point at the front, as you can well see. Down the side is your loading in point and then your production chain menu. So it's all based on the is it the spinnery that style of building on the base game you've got a sign up the top there factory bottle production no fact factory bottle flavored milk there you are need to get a pair of glasses so we'll go to the production chain and for all three of them you're going to have the base ingredient the milk and the sugar and then obviously for the oat milk you need oats soy milk you need soybeans chocolate milk you need chocolate and then as you can imagine strawberry milk you need strawberries now the whole thing is going to hold 100,000 litres of each of your ingredients and then on the outgrown products it's going to hold up to 10,000 litres once that pallet spawn point area is full. Now you can have that on storing so put the pallets out the front or you can put it to selling but then you will lose sort of 35-ish percent on that and then you can put it to distributing if you really wanted to do that. Now there isn't anything in the game so far that this flavor of milk will go to so just leave it on storing and then sell it over there <laughs> fair enough right now what i do want to look at is you can't pick them up i mean i've got the liftable pallets mod installed and it's still too heavy it's coming out 1.1 ton but what i do want to try is will they work with an auto loader we'll give it a go so i've got my forklift truck and my auto load trailer ready so we'll go pick one up there you are, just like that. And then we'll take it over. If it loads in, jobs are good in. If not, you'll have to manually load it onto a trailer yourself. So, moment of truth. Is it going to go in? Do I need to lower it down? No, that's the wrong way. There we are. No, oh, it's, oh God, it's stuck on the pallet. Oh, it has gone in. Oh, that's all right. That's all right indeed, say you are. thousand litres of soy milk in the back of that. Now, the next question is, is there going to be any profit to be made? So I've made a few slides. So the first slide is going to be what you need to put in. Obviously, you need to put your milk, your sugar, and then the differentiator. There you are, that's a good word for you. So your oats, your soybeans, your chocolate, or your strawberries. So it's going to be a one-to-one -one of everything. So a thousand litres going in is going to make you a thousand litre pallet of milk on the outside. Now, what about when it comes out the other end? Now, this is where it varies wildly. So we've got a cost there of oat milk, 5,850. A cost of soy milk, 7,634. A cost of chocolate milk, 10,439. And the cost for the strawberry milk, 4,732. Now, those costs are if you sold off the original ingredients before you put them in. That's how much you'd make. So rather than putting them in here, you'd make that sort of money. So we've got these prices by using the fixed prices mod. So that's just where we got it all from. Now, where it goes to the sales is where it gets really interesting. Now for the oat milk, you'll sell a pallet of 1,000 litres for 5,696. For soy milk, 6,030. For chocolate milk, 6,124. And for strawberry milk, 5,503. Now this is where the problem comes in. So for the oat milk, you'd actually lose 2.63%. Yeah, it costs you more to run it through this than you'd actually make. For the soy milk, that's 21% you're going to be losing out on. For chocolate milk, you're going to lose 41.32%. That's a lot. That is a lot to lose. That's like just under half. All right, fair enough. But there is a saving grace with this. The strawberry milk, you're going to make 16.3% profit. So, I'm going to use this factory, go for the strawberry milk. Now, I did say at the beginning, strawberry milk was my favourite. Not because you make a profit on it, just because it tastes the best. But, if you're going to be using this, 
the strawberry milk is the best one to go for now obviously it looks pretty bad with those prices you know you're losing 2 21 and 41 percent but that's only if you sold off the original ingredients if you want to use this as part of your game setup this is great because obviously once you made it you know you, you grown your oats you grown your soy beans you know just bang them in here it's the difference between what you could make and what you would make with this not whether you should or you shouldn't obviously your game you play it how you want just on this one from a strictly cost point of view the strawberry milk is the winner oh, oh very nice right so drop it in the comments below are you going to be using this and are you going to be doing the strawberry milk we'll see what people are looking at if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one